Greetings. I'm Cynthia Randino, Superintendent of the Hapakon Borough School District. Hapakon is a suburban school district located in Sussex County in northern New Jersey. Hapakon Borough School District has three notable elementary schools, a middle school, and a high school, providing a rigorous educational program that is highly engaging. To that end, the Hopakon Borough School District has been involved for several years in an arts integration project which began with our attendance at the Scholars as Leaders Arts Leadership Program sponsored by the Foundation for Educational Administration and the Geraldine Dodge Foundation. Since its inception, the Arts Integration Program has led to the development of a professional learning community that values arts integration as a key to enhancing student performance. It is a hallmark initiative that has moved the district forward while engendering high levels of student engagement. I'd like to proudly share our accomplishments with you. What you're about to see is basically a video on the genesis of art infusion within the Hopatcon School District. Before we get to the video, let's talk a little bit about what art infusion is. I can tell you it's not a curriculum. It's a methodology. It's a way of infusing the arts into various academic curricula throughout the district. And the purpose of Art Infusion basically is to increase student involvement, to engage students, to make academics more interesting, to teach them different ways of looking at curriculum. Um, Art Infusion fosters creativity, uh, it fosters critical thinking, it fosters collaboration on students' parts and the interaction between students and teachers. The ancient Greek mathematicians and philosophers believed that uh, the arts should be the most important thing taught in education. I think it was Plato that said that the patterns found in music and arts are the keys to learning. And that makes sense to me as a band director because in the band we're always talking about rhythm being a mathematical equation. We see it as patterns. We decode, then we translate that into language. The Greeks the ancient Greeks were marvelous in their products, the, the wonderful temples that they built and the architectural structures, uh, their dramas, their plays, uh, their, their wonderful pieces of music. They understood all of that and they understood the disciplines necessary in order to create because we want our kids to be creative. We want them to use their minds in different ways. It's just not about learning equations. It's what can we do with it. Everything that you see is a product of an art. It's in the design of the room. It's in our clothes. It's in our smartphones that we hold. It's the shape. It's the color. It's all of the things that draw us in, it's video games, it's advertisements, it's all art, but we have to learn those disciplines necessary in order to create those things. So um, arts integration is using these disciplines in a creative outlet and to be able to get those kids to be more hands-on and more creative right now. I collaborated with a math teacher on an arts infusion project. In math class they were focusing on studying units of rate and then we correlated that through some online internet activities where the students experimented with learning about beats per minute and tempo in music. The students then came to my music technology classroom and composed a ringtone for a cell phone where they selected one style of music for that ringtone and then they got to play with the, the BPM, the beats per minute, to increase that tempo and decrease the tempo, increasing the number that stood for the tempo or decreasing it and here are the, the changes that impacted their ringtone for the cell phone. So my experience with Art Infusion started two years ago when I was a part of a delegation that went down to the Summer Institute at Princeton University and we spent three days uh, learning about Art Infusion getting the background, the basics, and even diving into some lessons that we could implement when we got back to our school. Um, and that really set me up to be able to talk to the staff here and really hit the ground running so that we can implement things with the English teachers and the social studies teachers, uh, science teachers, and get some really good student engagement in those classes with lessons that, that was fun and engaging that they were interested in. The first thing that I understood about Art Infusion that made sense to me was when I saw a display of different subject areas and the kinds of mental process that took place across those different subject areas. 
And what I saw was, with art, with literature, with reading, with science in some ways, there's a crossover, the same process that you use when you look at a painting and try to break down what the elements of a painting are and how it works. And when you start to look at your reasons for believing certain things are going on in the painting, you're looking for evidence of, of why you feel the way you do and why you think the way you do, I realized that those same skills are the same skills that you use in, uh, in writing. Um, and when I spoke to uh, Ms. Canizero, she immediately understood exactly what that was. So we began a project where I came into the class, we were looking at a painting, I took them through the steps that you would go through when you critique a painting, and then they picked it up from there and began to use that information to put together a writing assignment. And I combined the lesson that Mr. DeBose taught the kids with um, what we do when we read literature. Okay, what, what Mr. DeBose did with the kids was tell them really to read the picture. What do you see in the picture? What text evidence is there? Even though it's visual evidence, it's still textual evidence. You can't say that something's in the picture if it's not there. So the first uh, unit that I did where Mr. DeBose and I just kind of casually came up with it in the teacher's lounge was the American experience and it transited into not just um, the civil rights but into the Japanese culture and the influence and from there we just took it and I let the kids imagination go wild with the Japanese influence in rock gardens and in anime and film and music and the areas that they have an interest in um, and it's amazing when you tell the students hey what can we do with the arts for this particular unit, now they're coming to me and they're thinking in terms of, can we write music to reflect this? Can we draw this? Can we somehow or another incorporate this background so we have a better understanding? So I'm seeing the student who would normally sit in the back of the room, nod their head, now speaking up and saying, hey, I know this, let me take the lead. And they're teaching the teachers, which is really, really nice as well. Well, I think the formula always is, if you can increase engagement, you increase retention. If you increase retention, you can increase production. I think it's something we all know. Uh, the difference here, though, is, is finding those areas where cognitive process crosses over in different content areas. We started to develop an arts infusion program in the Ho Pak Kong School District a couple of years ago based on an idea that was um, introduced to us by the uh, Dodge Foundation. Uh, several administrators and teachers went to a uh, workshop at Princeton University uh, came back with some great ideas. Um, we then began to form creative leadership teams at each building, uh, primarily consisting of academic teachers and art teachers. Uh, since that time, we've incorporated art infusion into a broader term uh, of STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics. So imagine a social studies class where kids can learn how to read a Paul Revere engraving on the Boston Massacre, in addition to referring to more traditional primary sources. Imagine a phys ed class where students are concentrating on movement and dance and ballet and expressing themselves in that manner. Imagine a science class where students are able to demonstrate the concept of malleability of elements through sculpture and clay. Imagine a math class where kids study and create stained glass based on plotting points uh, and slope. Um, these are the kinds of things, these visual representations of the academic concepts, these are the things that engage non-traditional learners. These are the kinds of things that really foster the interaction, the dialogue between students and teachers in class and among students in the classroom. It's a, it's a great concept. Uh, it's working very well here. Uh, the kids enjoy it. And more importantly, it's made the teachers consult with colleagues. They make a concerted effort to touch base with each other to develop these projects, to get the kids engaged. And the projects can go across content areas, across curriculum areas, so you have teams of teachers working together on arts infusion, promoting STEAM. Arts integration or arts infusion is really an approach to education that allows for two things, really creativity and collaboration. 
creativity in that, you know, you're producing something and that there's no one right answer or different ways to solve a problem. Collaboration in that you're working with groups and that students are learning from each other, but I think what's important is teachers are also learning from each other as well because they have to collaborate to put these lessons together. Hopefully what happens at the end of the day is you have connection. And what connection is, is experience. So it's not just about the information and how you apply it. It's the information and a personal connection to what it means and what it does, where it applies in the world and how it relates to you and the world you live in and what you understand. Um, it's the old formula, if you can increase engagement, you increase retention. If you increase retention, you have more production. There's more to work with. I think for teachers, for us to understand this, the one idea that ties it all together is pattern recognition. And that really focuses on the mental process. And the hope here is that the skills that you use in one area can be transferred to another. In our district, one of the reasons we've focused on this approach is because we recognize that the world that these kids are moving into is going to be different than our world. And if you look at the rapid pace of change, you have to understand that creativity and flexibility are going to be important. This encourages that process, recognizes the importance, and gives them tools and hopefully skills that will assist them in their future.